She should be doing this in a park, a school playground perhaps, and she should have a safe place to sleep. But six-year-old Leah has spent the last four nights in a tent in this makeshift camp with her family. Dunkirk is the latest stop on a journey that has taken half her life. Her dad, Ali, told me their story. Two here, three years here. Three years, with your wife and children? Yes. Greek, uh, Albania, Macedonia, Serbia, Romania, Hungary. Reaching the UK is their goal, and that focus overshadows the hardship. You can't sleep overnight because of the cold weather. In this little tent, I can't even lie down. We have little kids, they're crying. We have no life, to be honest. But we have no choice. We have to go through the channel to get to the United Kingdom. We have no choice. Most of the people we spoke to today were Kurdish too, from Iraq and Iran. Most were young men, although we saw at least half a dozen young families. It's hard for them to explain why they haven't stopped earlier on their journey, but here Ali speaks for many. In Britain we can have a safe life. People have respect for human beings there, unlike my country. I lived in Iraq all my life. I was a trader, but my life was in danger. That's why I left my country. I want to have a future for my kids. I want them to have a life. The Ahmed family will be warm tonight. In the driving rain, Seyran packs up their worldly belongings. They're joining the queue for this bus, sent by a charity to take some of the homeless to hotels. For how long, they don't know. These people have so little, but their determination to reach the UK still burns fiercely. Tessa Chapman, Five News in Dunkirk.